Hey video fans, Butterfly here. Coming to you after a, a round at Auburn Golf Course. Had a little bit of everything with respect to the weather today, but my gosh, it feels good. Balmy, balmy got into the 50s at points today. Um, I will say, I got a new driver. I think that the footage will speak for itself with respect to how that went. Uh, feeling strong. More importantly, I feel like something's starting to change. Something's transforming deep within me. Um, I look behind me and I start starting to see wings, beautiful colors, just all over the place. And um, I will say I might have to go into dark mode leading up to Palm Springs because I am afraid people might watch this and then practice harder just to keep pace with me. And um, I don't think that'll be successful, but you can try, the hard work, you know. I wish Earl could have been there today. He would have been so proud. Uh, Earl had a last minute cancellation. You'll see Steven uh, out there with me on the course. Delightful, delightful Steven. Just um, a real treat, real treat to play with. Uh, a lot less hard on me than Earl. But um, like I said, I wish, I wish Earl could have been there. Could have been there to see this. Let's see how the footage goes. Haven't watched any of it. Felt good, swing felt good. Auburn Golf Course, let's go. first shot with the new driver right out of the box and mm, yes we'll keep it we will keep it my playing partner Steven however on the first tee that is not what we were looking for he would recover though and you will see some amazing shots but let's let's take a second to admire that swing on on shot number two on hole number one things seem to be going very nicely ugly swing here but a delightful result it was very damp. We are experiencing what is called an atmospheric river here in Washington. There's the drive that Steven has been looking for. That's that's what he wants to put on tape here for his video fans. I would follow up with another nice little shot here. This driver really does seem to be a bit of a godsend at this point. Let's watch a couple shots from here. This is one of those shots where I was just aimed too far right and hit it right where I was aimed. I have been counseled on this, but apparently I will not listen. However, I did follow it up with an absolutely smashing shot right here. Beautiful draw, just short of the green. You're not going to get a lot of roll in the middle of an atmospheric river. I have never hit a ball on this hole this far. Uh, that bunker that I put it in was what I thought way out of reach and uh, Steven follows it up here with a, a slight tug but again real nice shot so the boys were playing well um, this shot was very difficult to find very very high and when it landed uh, the ball was completely submerged in some mush worst drive of the day here a uh, little bit off to the right had to punch it out across the fairway left myself here little you know abbreviated backswing um, but did hit a nice shot managed to then hit it within two feet on the following one uh, so walked away with a par a very very tricky hole um, another one where I was aimed a little bit too far to the right but a nice drive and uh, this one this was ugly this was a slice into the trees which is a popular destination for me however followed it up with a wonderful shot here and then uh, you'll see a third here where I put it on the green did manage to make par was even par on the back nine through the first I think four or five holes so things were going well let's uh, watch a couple shots
would like to pick back up here and point out the fact that for the first time in a long time I did not hit the ball into the water on this uh, par 3. Did manage to get a bogey, so that's exciting. And absolutely smashed this drive. What a rush. What a feeling. Steven, well, this was not his best work as he hit this uh, to the moon, so to speak, into the shrubbery. However, he would not be dejected. What a great attitude he displays on the course. Unfortunately for me, I would limp into the finish with a pretty pathetic drive, followed by a not so bad shot, but completely forgot about the water in front of the green. So after a drop, we had uh, actually a pretty nice up and down here from the drop area to save double, but the damage was done, friends, and that's life. Well, there you have it, video fans. Indisputable evidence that the butterfly is starting to take shape and spread his wings. Um, I think on that tape, you saw a little bit of everything. I will say it did much to the counsel of some of my other coaches. Uh, recognized that some of my shots that went off to the right, that's right where I was aimed. So I was trying to be a little bit more conscious about where I aimed, but clearly still work to do there. Uh, overall though, very happy with the progress. Optimism is high heading into the Palm Springs Major. And uh, yeah, let's just say if there's a draft, I gotta believe that my handicap to what I put on tape will lead to some very aggressive drafting of uh, your butterfly here. So uh, anyway, thank you. Until next week, Earl, take care, God bless, and uh, hope to get you back on the course here soon. Cheers.